Hey guys, this is Tech It Out, and today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 2G using Red Snow. Now, the reason you should use this guide before you use anyone else's is because I'm going to show you how to actually get Cydia working. If you've seen some other guides, they will show you how to install Cydia, but then Cydia will say it's unsupported and won't stop loading. I'm going to show you how to get past that. Okay, so before you jailbreak your iPhone, it is a good idea to go ahead and restore it because there is a more, there's a higher success rate of Red Snow actually jailbreaking the iPhone. What restoring does is basically restores the iPhone to stock iOS if it's already jailbroken and wipes all your data, all cache files, all photos, all that stuff. So what we're going to do to restore this iPhone is we're going to have to put it into DFU okay, mode. So go ahead and plug your 30 pin connector into the computer that you will be using for this. So now we're going to put the phone into DFU mode. So to do that, what you want to go ahead and do is one, just go ahead and plug your iPhone in. iTunes will detect it and say this iPhone is not supported on this particular version. So go ahead and turn it off. And once your iPhone is off, you have to hold the power button for three seconds, then the home button and power button for 10 seconds, then continue holding just the home button for 15. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now continue holding the home button for 15 seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. You don't have to hold it for 15 seconds. You just have to hold it until your computer detects the device. Okay, so once you want to do as soon as your iPhone is plugged in, you want to, before you, you can just go ahead and click OK on iTunes here. Go ahead and go to the web browser and go to the first link in the description or the link in the description. And you're going to just click on this folder here and just go ahead and click download. I've already downloaded it, so I don't have to do that. So then find wherever it is that you downloaded it. And it will say iPhone 2G to iOS 1.0. The reason is this was actually a folder someone else made, but it's perfect for this video. So just, you'll have to, once you get into the folder, you'll have to right click on it and go to open with and click Windows Explorer. If you have another extraction program, you can use that. If you don't, you can just right click and click extract all. But for now you just click extract all and then you select the destination, but I've already extracted it. So that's how you extract the folder. So now you can minimize this and you want to go into iTunes and click shift on Windows and click restore iPhone. And this will allow you to select the IPSW, which will be in your downgrade kit. Not iTunes, sorry. You want to go to um, IPSWs and click iOS 3.1.3 and now click open and your iPhone will start restoring and I will be it will extract it and then restore it and if you have any errors just comment down below and I'll try to help you as best as I can so I'll get back to you as soon as this is finished okay so after iTunes has finished restoring you should get to this screen it says we're sorry we are unable to continue with your activation at this time because iTunes does not support the iPhone 2G anymore so go ahead and just close out of iTunes you do not need it anymore and go ahead and find wherever it is that you stored the iPhone 2G to iOS 1.0 downgrade folder go ahead and find that okay so once you've found your folder go ahead and go into it and it should you should have already extracted it at this point and now once you're in the folder go ahead and head over to red snow and once you're here you'll have to again extract red snow if you don't have any other extracting programs you should be able to go down here and click extract all but if you do and don't want to use that you just just right click on the folder and click open with and click windows explorer and click extract all and select the destination to which you are going to extract it but again I've already extracted it so I'm just going to go into where I extracted the folder which is right here and it will look just like this 0.9.4 win for Windows and then just go ahead if you're running Windows 10 anything above Windows XP here's what you have to do to run this program you go down to properties 
and you click compatibility, click run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select Windows XP Service Pack 2. Click apply and then click OK and then open the program or double click on the program and it will probably ask you if you want this program to make any changes to your computer depending on how you have the security on your computer which I do have it it'll look just like this go ahead and click yes and once red snow has loaded it should look like this now if you go to your iPhone 2G it should say no sim card inserted and insert a valid sim with no pin lock to activate iPhone so you will have to find your wherever you have your IPSW which should be in the downgrade folder so I'll just go ahead and show you where I put mine go ahead and find your downgrade folder and go into the downgrade kit go to IPSW's and even if you're running iOS 3.1.3 you cannot select iOS 3.1.3 because Red Snow does not accept it. Instead, select 3.1.2. It works just fine for jailbreaking. Click open and it will say IPSW successfully identified. Go ahead and hit next and it will do its jailbreaking thing to the firmware. Also, make sure to have no other iOS devices connected here in just a minute when we have to put the iDevice into DFU mode again to jailbreak it. So what we're going to select is install Cydia, if, assuming you want Cydia. If not, just go ahead and unselect that. So this jailbreak will get past the unlocking stage or the activating stage. If you want to use this iPhone with a carrier like Sprint, go ahead and hit unlock. I don't care to do that, but I know unlock works for me anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And now it's going to say browse for the bootloader if you selected unlock. So if you select it unlock, go ahead and go down to this downgrade kit and click bootloaders and click 3.9, the 3.9 one for the top and the 4.6 for the bottom. And it should look like that. Now you just click next. Now we need to put our device into DFU mode once again. So now we're going to go ahead and put our iPhone into DFU mode once again. So go ahead and turn your device off with it plugged into the computer. Go ahead and click slide to power off. Now once again you hold the power button for three seconds then after that you hold the power button and the home button together for 10 seconds then after that continue holding just the home button for 15 seconds so let's go ahead and do that one two three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten continue holding the home button for 15 seconds five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, or until you hear your computer connect, which mine should have connected now at this point in time because it's been more than 15 seconds. So let's go back to the okay, computer. So once your iOS device or your iPhone is in DFU mode, go ahead and click next and it should detect it within a few seconds and then start jailbreaking and it will start doing all this and that will take a little bit. So I will speed through this and put it in time lapse. It takes about 10-ish minutes and your screen will start flickering and stuff like that. And eventually it will get to a screen that says downloading jailbreak data, which I'm about to show you right now. So once the jailbreak has started, as you can see, it is uploading RAM disk. Your iPhone should look like this, jail, downloading jailbreak data. It should take about 10-ish minutes total to complete the jailbreak with all the reboots and anything is about my estimate. I haven't done it much. That's about my estimate. So just wait for this to finish up and then you will be jailbroken. Eventually you'll get to this stage where the little pineapple guy is on the screen and it's loading. This is almost through with the process as you can see here and I'll get back to you as soon as it's finished completely. Okay so sorry you didn't see the rest of the process. My screen recorder actually crashed and thankfully the video is okay. I did not lose that footage as you saw but I did not see, get the rest of the footage of the little bar going all the way, but it is done. So now let's go to the iPhone and I'll show you what to do. Okay, so once Red Snow has finished, it will say slide to unlock and it should say like no SIM right here. You'll swipe to unlock and it will say no SIM and you'll click OK. 
which is normal. I've already unlocked my phone. But as soon as the little pineapple guy is done and Red Snow was done, it is safe to unplug your iPhone. So now as you can see, Cydia is on my home screen. This is the same iPhone I jailbroke. So just go ahead and click on Cydia. And what it's going to do is it's going to reorganize for a while. I'm not sure if I can exit out actually. Go ahead and set your auto lock for a very long time for like five minutes or never so you go into general auto lock and I'm just gonna set mine for five minutes so the phone stays on and now go back into Cydia the iPhone should respring as soon as it's done but just make sure your iPhone stays awake or else it may take longer and you'll just have to keep waking up your phone with the swiping to unlock and all that stuff so I will get back to you as soon as it's finished just let it do its thing it should respring which is basically like a restart just without all the loading and long loading so it should get you back to the lock screen so I'll be back to you as soon as it is done you will actually have to log into your Wi-Fi network which I forgot to do I'll be right back as soon as I'm done with that okay so I'm back and have my Wi-Fi connected so what you want to go ahead and do is head over to Cydia and it's going to load and ask you who you are now I did the mistake of selecting user the first time even though I am a user and don't select hacker either I messed up on both of those well actually yeah so you want to just go ahead and hit developer even if you're not a developer and it's going to sit here and load the data for a long time well actually this was a lot faster than last time so it will eventually ask you to update Cydia and that is how you get Cydia working I will show you when it comes up and I will record it just put it in time lapse because if you don't update Cydia it's going to say this the whole time this version of Cydia is no longer supported please upgrade to 1.1.x at your earliest convenience there is an update that will come and you will want to select complete update I will be back to you as soon as it pops up and I will just put this part in time okay, so literally this is like 30 seconds later I just got this error go ahead and hit OK and it will say reloading data and I will be back to you as soon as it finishes loading which just takes a very long time if you've ever heard of anyone else doing jailbreaks on iPhone 2G's everyone complains that this loading takes a very long time because it does but once you update Cydia it's not as bad so I'm going to show you how to update it Okay, so literally after eight full minutes of waiting, this finally pops up. This is the update I'm talking about. Don't click ignore. Don't click update upgrade essential. Click complete upgrade. Because if not, Cydia will not really be usable at all on this iPhone. And now go ahead and click confirm. And it's going to run a bunch of codes and stuff you're going to see on the screen. Well, not codes. But you're going to see a bunch of words pop up and this little bar go across. And it'll take a minute or two because it's actually only like 3 megabytes. But it's, <laughs> it takes a few minutes to install. So just, just wait on it. Make sure your iPhone stays awake and I'll show you what to do. As soon as it's done, it's going to do the loading thing at the end. And then it will say either respring or return to Cydia or restart springboard. I'm not, I can't remember because I've only done this once just to test it to make sure it works so I can make this video. So I'll show you what to do when it's finished. Okay, so as you can see, like I said, as, fin as soon as that bar finishes going past and all these code things finish running, as I said before, you're going to get this reloading data and that's going to take a little bit just like last time. I'm going to put the video in time lapse and as soon as it's done reloading, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so after reloading the data for a very, very long time when it was installing the update, Cydia just crashed and I reloaded it and it actually did install the update even without you pushing anything. But now once again, when I opened up Cydia, the data is reloading again. But I will show you that Cydia is working in just a minute because it was the other day for me when I tested this out before the video. 
Okay, so just as a demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and install a tweak here that I do not believe is available anymore or compatible. Five icon dock. You can put five icons on your dock. And now it's going to sit here for 20 minutes and load. I'll be back after that 20 minutes. So as it turns out, one reason why it took so long for this thing to load was because I typed in the name wrong. It was spelled five instead of the number five. So I'm going to go ahead and install this tweak. And we are going to try the five icon dock as soon as Cydia lets me push the button. Okay. I'll be back when it's finished because I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Okay, so supposedly I installed 5 Icon Dock. It has resprung and installed. So I assume the settings will be in here. I guess not. Okay, so I'm just going to drag Cydia onto the dock and we're going to see if it works. Oh wow, it does work. Look at that. Okay, so Cydia is completely working on the iPhone 2G in 2018. Okay, so thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope this helped you out and it worked for you. If you have any issues, leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace.